So I always start with adoption. Should I start there? My story starts from a birth out of tragic situation with a young teenage mother, and that resulted in my adoption. I was chosen by an amazing family and yeah, raised by my parents as their own. He was a joyful, just great child. He really was. He was just a delight to have. He was a rambunctious, adventurous, uh, fun toddler. He is the world champion tuber. I was pretending to be the same respectful, nice kid who does well in school and participates in church and young life. There were no red flags. There really and, weren't. And again, we're not ignorant parents about the, the signs of trouble. And so that was a eye-opening experience when it all hit the fan. At 12 years old, I felt like I didn't belong anywhere. Who am I? What is my worth? Do I matter? I kind of realized I don't like meditating on these questions. I started jumping out of my window at night, just robbing houses or anywhere I thought would have alcohol. And that is when the cycle began. When I got gang affiliated, it was what I thought was the only hope. I was, I think, 16 when I just decided to abandon the facade that everything was okay. It was literally one of the most stressful worst days of my life. After an argument, I left the house telling her, I do drugs and I sell drugs. I mean, he just took off out of the house. He didn't come back that night. And then from there, it just went downhill. The more we tried to put constraints around his negative behavior, the worse it became. A lot of tears, searching the Lord for what we should do and the decisions we should make. We knew we needed to do something. I was failing out of school and my parents decided to put me into a boarding school. I had no help with any of the real issues that were going on. I became increasingly depressed at that point, I was 100% suicidal. They decided to switch me from the boarding school to North Carolina Boys Academy. North Carolina Boys Academy is a 15-month faith-based boarding school for young men that need a mid-course correction in their life. They can work towards a high school diploma. We also do a lot of discipleship. The primary core aspect of our program is discipleship, helping them become young men of God. He was going somewhere where people really loved him, cared about him, and were gonna be praying for him. All of that was such a comfort. He had a hard time adjusting at first. Really, the, the big thing for him was, who are you? Who are you, Lee? And so he took that to heart, you know, and I think that's when he really began his journey with the Lord to find out who he really was. North Carolina Boys Academy was a place where I was forced to deal with the issues that were controlling my life. This was the start of healing, repentance, and reconciliation. Prior to my, my coming to Christ, I struggled with alcohol, I struggled with drugs, and when I came to Christ, he really transformed my life. That was a huge example for me, um, to be surrounded by men who were ahead of me in the journey, doing it well, proving to me that there is a life that you can live without compromise. As I was nearing the end of my stay, I was completely changed in my thoughts, in my beliefs, and in my direction. Not only like had I graduated high school, but I had aspirations to go to university. He was a completely different young man, and that was just neat to see a heart that was truly committed to God's best. 
Lee, when he first came in, he would pursue whatever he wanted. Today, all that passion is just deeply focused on the Lord and what the Lord has for him. This is really frank, but before NCBA, uh, my long-term vision for my life was to be caught for murder and spend the rest of my life in prison. And now I have more hope and life and plans and future than I know what to do with. It was nice to see just that thrill of life again and light back in his eyes. To me, really, it's a picture of the prodigal son that was lost and now he is found. I was able to leave the brokenness of my past and step into the future that I was created for.